today is Thursday the 26th of July. Uh, it is the short day of the week where Parliament's going to uh, finish at six o'clock after sitting at two. Um, we'll start off with an introduction uh, to the House of the President of the Senate uh, from Mexico. Uh, we'll then go on to, to the business statement. Um, and, and then Melissa Lee is going to move uh, a motion uh, which acknowledges the 65th anniversary uh, of the ceasefire in the Korean uh, conflict. Um, question time today. Uh, we don't have the Leader of the Opposition, so Paula Bennett uh, will ask the question to the Prime Minister uh, about standing by his government's policies uh, and actions. Deborah Russell, though, will lead it uh, with uh, reports on the cost of living, a question to the Minister of Finance. David Seymour has quite a long question uh, to the Minister for Climate Change, uh, which uh, goes to the impact uh, of changes uh, that New Zealand is planning to make and what the impact will be on global temperatures. Um, Paul Eagle has a question uh, on homelessness. Uh, Amy Adams uh, is, has um, a question to the Minister of Finance, does he stand by all of the government's statements, policies and actions in relation to the New Zealand economy? Paul Goldsmith uh, has what's become quite a regular question to Shane Jones uh, about uh, standing by his actions and statements. Um, Jenny Marcroft uh, has a question to the Minister of Defence about whether the Defence Force is delivering value. Um, Nick Smith uh, has one to the Minister of Justice. Uh, does he stand by all the statements regarding the Electoral Integrity uh, Amendment Bill? Um, that's, there's been a series of questions uh, in this area uh, and, and one where there, there are some clear differences across the House uh, which uh, have been played out through the questions. Jonathan Young to the Minister of Energy and Resources. Does she stand by all her statements regarding the government's decision to ban offshore uh, oil and gas exploration? Um, and Joe Luxton to Consumer Affairs uh, about uh, lending options for vulnerable uh, consumers. A couple of questions likely to be pretty contentious at the end. Uh, one, David Bennett uh, to the Minister of Corrections about the... Uh, 1,500 bed uh, facility at Waikiria, uh, or statements he made about the proposed facility uh, and whether large-scale prisons are better or not. Uh, and Chris Bishop has one to the Minister of Police around police um, acting with regard to their responsibilities under the Sale and Supply of Alcohol uh, Act uh, and whether he's happy with the way that the police are doing it. Uh, there has been quite a lot of discussion about whether or not uh, the police have been overzealous in their uh, opposing uh, licences for bowling clubs, bridge clubs and the like. We then go on to legislation. The vast majority of the afternoon will be on the Ngāti Tūwharatua Claim Settlement Bill. It's the second reading. Um, it, we then go on to the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Monetary Policy Amendment Bill, the first reading, a bill in the name of Grant Robertson. Uh, what, what it does is uh, bring sustainable employment uh, into the mix, uh, as well as price stability, uh, and puts in place a monetary policy committee to make decisions uh, on monetary policy. So quite a, quite a big and quite important uh, piece of legislation. And then we'll be back next Tuesday.